The spread of tyranny and dictatorship has always been a threat to human freedom. The story of the last century is the story of our triumph over that. Just 30 years ago in this hemisphere, dictatorships were the rule, not the exception. And most of the people who lived in Latin America lived under dictatorships on both the right wing and the left. But over the last 30 years, thanks to the leadership and example of the United States and other free nations, democracy has spread. But now we're on the verge of losing all of those advances. And Exhibit A, in this regard, is what's happening in Venezuela. What's happening in Venezuela is the systematic violation of liberty and human rights by a government, following a playbook that they learned from Havana and dictators before them. They are using the armed forces and the police departments of the government not to protect the people, but to kill them, but to violate them, but to oppress them. They've used the power of the government to shut down freedom of the press. They, they threaten, they threaten their, their, their opponents with jail time, and in fact, they carry those threats out. Interestingly enough, the other day, the, the so-called president of Venezuela, who in fact is the dictator of Venezuela, Nicolás Maduro, said that I was the crazy of crazies. That's interesting coming from a man who claimed that Hugo Chavez, after death, appeared to him in the form of a small bird. But I digress. Let me return to the point. This tyranny and this dictatorship is not happening halfway around the world. It is happening here in our own hemisphere. It is affecting men and women and their families who live among us, who contribute to this community. And if the United States will not lead on the cause of human rights and freedom, no nation on earth will. If we do not lead, what other nation on earth will follow? If there is one country on this planet that should be firmly on the side of the people on the streets of Venezuela asking for freedom and liberty, it is the United States of America. And that's why I've asked the President not simply to be concerned about what's happening in Venezuela, but to be outraged by it. And to clearly pronounce that the people of the United States and our government are 100% on the side of the rightful ambitions of the people of Venezuela. To do what he has the power to do already. And that is to freeze the assets and revoke the travel visas of these government officials in Venezuela. You know, they come here to Miami, they buy their fancy suits here, they buy their cars, they buy apartments, some have their kids in school here, they, go they see take the travel visas to spend the money they steal from the Venezuelan people in Disney World, they act with impunity knowing there will be no consequences for their crimes, that cannot continue, Mr. President, stop that now. Yeah.